Hey guys, it's your girl Natural Chena Monet here, and thank you so, so, so much for stopping by my channel. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install the perfect Bantu knots and achieve a bomb Bantu knot takeout. So keep watching. So I'm starting out on an old braid out. The first thing I'm going to do is divide my hair into a medium sized section and spritz with water. It's important to make sure your hair is properly detangled prior to installing the Bantu knots and your ends are properly saturated and smooth. Just a dime size amount. I don't want my hair to be too saturated. So I'm going to twist each section into a small coil starting from scalp to the end. I'm rotating the twist or coil in a circular motion as if I was turning a doorknob. The goal is to create a spring-like coil against your scalp. Remember not to make the band too knot too tight. As you can see, my other hand is making sure there is enough space between the root and the beginning of the knot. Tuck the ends securely underneath the knot to hold in place. You can also use a bobby pin to secure, but I prefer not to use that. When you're done, your Bantu knot should resemble the shape of a rosebud or a cinnabon. So now I'm just going to repeat the same method throughout my head. For this process, you want to make sure to coat your hands with the oil of your choice prior to unraveling. This small step can help to reduce or eliminate any potential frizz. To unravel the Bantu knots, you want to secure the root of the hair with one hand while using the other hand to gently twist the knot in the opposite direction. The result should be a perfectly defined spiral shaped curl. For the best results, it's important to make sure your hair is fully dry before taking down the Bantu knots. Unfortunately, in this particular case, as I was taking down my Bantu knots, I realized that my hair was slightly damp in certain areas.
Once your knots are out, it's time to separate each curl and style as desired. I further separated each curl into two to three spiral curls. You can use a wide tooth comb or a pick to add more volume to the hair by picking the roots. Because my hair was not completely dry, I did not want to manipulate it too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you love this video and interested in seeing more hair tutorials like this, please comment, like, and subscribe.